Come on, girl. Hello. Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh. <laughs> I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. Why you want to go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. <clears throat>
Quick, Miss Rather, bring him around the back. Oh, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, I have missed you, I have missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Here. <gasps> my brother, my brother, Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... Uh, I promise to change. I know. Ah, uh, well, this silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes, and you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Mm -hmm. Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out of me, it. buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux's a foul rat. But I'm a man of my word. L let me live and I'll, I'll... I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please. Please, come on. You want to shoot a sad little man, would you? I might be a brute. I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. I give you my word. Now leave me alone.
there, mister. Yep. wall what do you want me to do i don't want you to work in that mine no more okay would you rather go back to thieving hmm i'm providing for my family well you can't provide for us if you ain't got no lungs and what if it caves in again i told you a hundred times already it'll get better yeah sure and who's gonna change things around here you you I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long has he been gone? Well, <coughs> a couple of days. <coughs> well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? Well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs>
must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. Okay. Let's get you out of here. Oh, yes. Indeed, son. Uh... Hey, I knew someone would come for Grant. Tankerous old bastard yet, has I'm tied to this tree. I've been praying for someone like you to come, son. You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. Ugh. <sighs> Uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm State Marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was. Before you got so short with me. Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. I'm a state marshal. And the ah, horse shit. I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. I will prosecute you for this, you insub... Bastard. There you go again, Mr. Grant. Ain't doing yourself no favors. What's your name, son? I ain't got no name. And I ain't your son. Sit tight. I'll take you to your friend. And this will all be over. Oh, not for you. It won't be. Whatever you
just wait until I reach state capital. Hey, moron! Who the hell are you? Down here? Almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got him! I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have. You'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me! It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh. Well, that settles that, then. I shot him in the back. I shot him in the goddamn back! When these things happen... God damn you, goddamn both of you! Now calm down, who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago, he's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on, draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Indeed. Still, at least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Hey, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, no, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. Oh, <laughs> well, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name.
Trying to rob a sick man? I was trying to help. <laughs> Bullshit, you was. You move and I shoot you.